Get ready for a smoke detector party. It's a Honeywell smoke detector. Ionization. From, I think, 1973. Oh. Let me take the cover off. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Me. There we go. There's the radiation sign. It contains 13.4 microcuries of americium-241. This is an American-made detector. There's the ionization chamber right there. And then, of course, that's the horn. Oh, this is, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. The other subject is a very special detector. This is a Gentex Model 710cc smoke detector. Look at that beauty. This is a photoelectric smoke detector. Whereas the other one was ionization. This smoke detector was made in 1998. Oh, I've been trying to print out some things, such as PDF documents, and was filled with rage when I saw just how small I printed out the paper. There's the PDF part, <laughs> and there's the rest of the paper. So, this little can here, and if I do things just right, I can make it mainly send out smoke. So here we go. We gotta get it to primarily smoke if possible. It went on longer earlier because I had to put more smoke to it. I may not have enough smoke here right now to get the full party feeling that I had just early minutes before I made this video. Okay, I don't have enough smoke. Let me try this again. So I don't want to make it too dangerous, you know. I want to have it controlled. Uh, it's not as much as I had last time. It kept going off longer than that earlier. Let's see if the LED... Oh, it's blinking fast now. It means it's detecting smoke. And... Yeah! Oh, yeah. Now, let's see if we can get them both on at once. Before, I had them both on at once, and it felt so good. There's not enough smoke in there now. Dang it. Ah, I freaking love smoke detectors. I just don't want an actual house fire. That's why I have to do it in this can, of course. And plus, a house fire would destroy the smoke detectors. Oh! Things. There's not much. Oh, there's some smoke there. I don't think there's enough smoke in here now. Oh, dang. Well, it's just so fun. It's so fun. Oh my gosh. 
You know, they say that you gotta replace your smoke detectors every 10 years. But, you know, you know, this smoke detector's from 1973. So it's about 40 years old, of course, more like 41, but it's approximately 40 years old. And it still works, and it still detects smoke. And then that photoelectric unit, it is 16 years old, from 1998. And so, it's only four years shy of being 20 years old. And it still works very nicely. I can even test it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fan freaking tastic! Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video with great excitement. Wait, let us just do one more. Okay, we got another detector here though. This one is not a permanent setup. I may permanently set it up one day. When I say permanent, I mean permanent for the time we live in the house. If I were to ever move, I'm bringing my smoke detectors with me. Um. But, and don't worry, there'll be a, a newer, less interesting one set up in the house. Um, this smoke detector, I'm temporarily hanging here. Uh, I'll just show it real quick. Um, it's by GE. This style of smoke detector seems to be popular in Europe, at least with the test button in the middle and different circuitry, because I went to England back in 2003 and they had this shape of smoke detector by GE with the I think it was by GE with the test button in the middle everywhere or at least in the home that I stayed at and but this one's different in an older one this one has two microcuries of americium 241 or americium is the right way to say it actually I like how whenever you push the test button down you may not be able to see in there much but the test button is literally you're pushing something down onto the radioactive material. So, I'm going to give this one a test with genuine smoke. So this one's probably from circa the early 80s. Or circa sometime in the 1980s. So, of course this smoke detector is, uh, let's just say, approximately 30 years old. So, say it's three times more than that time that you're supposed to detect smoke. That means replace your smoke detectors because they say you're supposed to replace them every 10 years, but really it seems they tend to outlast that 10 year mark. So let's try some more smoke production. Um, I don't know if that will be enough. Uh, we'll see. There's a little bit of smoke. That was interesting how the end it was kind of I skipped a beat. So that's it, her detectors of smoke. It still has paper in there, might just keep in there for later smoke detector testing and sheer fun and pleasure. Um so yeah. Smoke detectors even a one that is well over 10 years old can still work. Don't throw your smoke detectors away when they're broken. Or and if they're quote unquote too old. They're too fascinating to be thrown away. Especially older smoke detectors that may become rare. Somewhere on the internet I saw that this smoke detector, this Honeywell one, I think if I remember correctly when new in, the ni in 1973 or so I think cost a hundred twenty five or something like that dollars if I remember correctly you could of course correct me if I'm wrong but <clears throat> it's quite something of course I paid 
I'm not, I don't. I think it was only five bucks or or something like that from an estate sale for this smoke detector three years ago. This one I got in an estate sale as well a while back, and I don't remember how much I paid for it, but it probably wasn't very much. And then the photoelectric smoke detector, the Gentix, of course, I have a video of that, and I got the Gentix, three of those Gentixes at a flea market for three dollars each. So. And they're still good smoke detectors. They can still warn you of a fire, and they can still, even this one, 40 years later, can still save your life. Even if it does have 13.4 microcuries of americium 241.